Every week, the lights of Friday night football shine bright over West Texas. But for one football player, he can't see those lights. He can't see the crowd, the ball, or the grass. But what he can see is that he's helping others see and believe that nothing is impossible, not even playing football blind. The Greenwood Panthers preparing for a big game. In fact, it's the biggest. It's the championship. They've come this far because each player has a unique talent, a crafted skill, including number 57, Dylan Collier. We already know we're going to win. It's that kind of confidence that continues to amaze people who watch Dylan play because he's doing all of this blind. You know how I can't see and a lot of people think that, I, that a blind person can't play football. But this courageous youngster has proven those people wrong. You can do anything that anything's possible. Game time nears. Dylan and his team are ready. Guys, this is it. Okay, you want to go to the Super Bowl, this is the time to do it. Sir! On the field, he runs, looking for a block. My job is to block for the quarterback. I have to make sure that they can't get to our quarterback and get the ball. Dylan is able to do this with the help of his teammates and his coach, who communicates with Dylan through a radio set up inside his helmet. Right there, Dylan, right there. Stop, Dylan. Stop, stop. Turn right, turn right. Straight back. Don't hit the ref. There you go. Uh, I talked to him in the helmet, tell him when to go when the ball snapped, and after that's basically on him. Uh, he knows he can get hit, but uh, he'll hit you too. After each play, Dylan runs to the sidelines, gets a hug from his coach, and cheers from the crowd. With every snap of the ball, with every play, number 57 Dylan Collier is proving a point that with enough heart and with enough hope, no player, no defender, no person can tackle a dream. I, I say that you can do anything if you put your mind to it. It goes green one. This is Dylan's first year of playing competitive football and says it was something he always wanted to do. His coach says he got the idea of using walkie-talkies from NFL players and coaches who use them during games.